Hey, what's going on, YouTubians? Back to Reality Comics. At it again with another haul. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to try that new voice. <laughs> Looks funny, sounds funny, pretty sure. So, um, yeah, I changed it around. One of the guys, you know, my Hulkbuster's right there. He's pretty awesome again. I like him. Thinking about painting him, pretty sure I'm going to do it. I'm going to change it. Looks awesome. This right here is actually pretty cool. I tried it over the weekend. Uh, this is what is called a Gundam. There's this whole community of people that do what is called Gumpla, and that's G U M P L A. No, it's not comic related. Well, it could be because there are a lot of comics with the Gundam wings. But uh, this is really awesome. You actually get them in model kits, you make them, and uh, there's different sizes. This is the smallest. I just wanted to try to see how fun it was. This is what is considered a 1 in 144 size. So. You get like some that are as big as this guy right here, which is like one in 60 or even bigger than that, 145, 145 of size. A lot of crazy Gundams. Thought that was awesome. Just wanted to show them off. It took me about like, I want to say like 12 hours, 16 hours. That's a lot of parts, believe me. It's not just the outside. There's also a little, an inside skeleton that you have to build and then you do the other stuff on the outside. I mean, if you guys like, you know, making stuff with your hands or you know doing stuff like this is pretty cool i would recommend bigger my next one's probably going to be bigger because i my i got big fat fingers so look at that so yeah messing around with that that really sucks but a great great awesome fun time i had with it as soon as i started i couldn't let us i couldn't stop i literally was like two three in the morning still going at it and um yeah almost slept in the, in the sofa because of this guy right here but just wanted to bring you attention. That's all my hard labor right there. Either way, let's get back to the comics. <laughs> so we got here Captain America, one of my favorite guys out there to do, to do his thing. We got Captain America versus uh, Winter Soldier on the little scale of justice. Obviously, I don't know how this goes. If it's the 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 heavier you are, the more justice justified, I guess you are. I don't know. Either way, really cool cover. Captain America 615. Awesome to have red cover can't complain love it like i said all my comics are cheap as crap because i'm a cheap bastard and i like three dollars two dollar comics one dollar comic 50 cent comics as long as they look good of course so moving on we got the mighty thor number 41 i'm sorry i'm a liar number 541 or 41 41 541 i don't know tell me which one it is i'm not too sure crazy beautiful artwork look at how like there's I guess his father and a whole bunch of other like you know Norse uh, Norse gods in the background there in, in the in the clouds just an amazing cover um, found that a buck had to have it couldn't say no took it with me Paradise X this just says special edition I don't even know what number this is but I mean an, an amazing cover nonetheless has <laughs> Wolverine right here Spider-Man don't know who the heck those guys are all these guys are awesome Maybe that's an Iron Man. Don't know. That's a cyborg. Maybe. Who cares? There's an uh, angel guy. Who is he? Who knows? Just a great cover. Got him. Found him. Had to take him. Found Silver Blade uh, number one from 1987. I mean, this thing for, you know, I mean, it's not, of course, like a golden age book. But for its age, it's very, very well ma maintained. I mean, the, the color is vibrant. The astronaut fighting, I guess, Sasquatch in a nice car and some guy that looks like Zorro kissing his girlfriend while a hawk is carrying them all, carrying them in, in in the air. I don't know what's going on in this thing, but, I mean, I saw it. I was like, it just spoke to me. I was like, I had to have it. So a dollar? Heck, yeah. I'll take it with me. I found this one, too. This is my first comic that I actually find, and I guess, in this parallel, I guess, I, 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 horizontal. It looks crazy. I mean, I saw it. It's like, you know, you got Superman, Lobo right there. I think that's some sort. I think it might be Wonder Woman. I don't know. And this guy right here. Either way, they're at a bar. Hey, Superman's like, hey, open up a tab, man. Come on. I can drink forever. I got money. Throw it how you want it. Lobo's like, nah, I know you can't. You're a punk. Get out of my face. Mainly down the line, there's probably going to be a fight here, Lobo and him. Because Lobo's like, you looked at my girl. He's like, nah, man, I'm Superman. I don't really deal with that stuff. I've never really even kissed a girl, so 
but maybe a half. I don't know. Who cares? Found it, bought it. Dollar. This is a Guy Gardner Warrior number 29. And yeah, it goes like that. Uh, also happy to find this one here. Uh, the Avengers number two. Hey, no fighting. Sorry, that's my dogs back there. Shh, leave her alone. Bully. Alrighty, so we got this one. Sorry about that, guys. Got uh, the Avengers number two. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just found it. it. Looks cool. It's like basically like old, uh, like the old knights, you know, brave new old world. It's like ye olde British or England. I don't know. Captain America couldn't pass it out. He's in a, like a full body armor. So, yeah, <laughs> I got it. Either way. Thought it was really cool. Got it for a buck. This is New Avengers number 66 or 481. I don't know, however you want to put it. I don't know why they do this. Does anybody know why they put a number and then another number? I don't really know that. I, I just, I don't know. I just get them just because of the cover. So, like that cover. Also found this on New Avengers or The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, uh, number 46 or 463. Who knows? Maybe one of those two. Got that for a buck too. You know, can't go wrong. We got the, you know, American flag in the back. We got Vision, Scarlet Witch, I forget her name, Thor, and Captain America. And you can't go wrong with them. So, got that for a buck. Now we're going to go into a couple older, I don't want to say two old comics, but this is a pretty cool comic. Um, I'm not a big Green Lan Lantern guy. I know Green Lantern people are going to hate me, but I just don't know. I just, I mean, it's a cool idea, you know, inter in in intergalactic, you know, I guess cops or saviors i mean it's it's pretty cool you know that they explore different worlds and you see different types of people but i don't know i just never got into it it's just even even after the movie i don't know just didn't like it either way action comics weekly uh 48 pager and this is uh number 608 i know this isn't actually green lantern but it you know it has them on there but I thought it was a really nice cover. I'm, I, I like green covers a lot too. So especially this dark earth green right there. Awesome. Can't say can't say nothing about it. So we got uh, Action Comics Millennium Week number four, and this is uh, five ninety six. This is from nineteen eighty eight, which is by far one of the greatest years because that's the year I was born. So <laughs> just had to throw it out there. Just a great comic. I mean, look at. That. Everybody's there. These guys are going through an intergalactic gate or something. And then Spectra is holding Superman back. As you can't save the people from Smallville, Superman. No, they all are dead. Oh, blah. Either way, cool comics. Got that. Super excited to get it. I got these. Yeah, I got those for 50 cents, actually. And this one, too. El Hombre Muerto, which is dead man <laughs> action comics weekly 48 pager 610 i mean dead man has always been a really cool character he's just i don't know he's never gotten his, his attention his his due due diligence i guess but um I, I don't overall i mean i've always liked the character he's a pretty cool guy um i think they went crazy on these you know flipped forward uh i don't know whatever shirt i guess it's a shirt thing whatever who cares I don't know what I'm talking about, man. It's kind of late. I don't want to. I don't want to be up. <laughs> and then uh, I'm trying to get my All Star Squadron, you know, legit. So I'm trying to get it going. So I got All Star Squadron number uh, sixteen. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know what it is about this, these these types of or like this series in general, but I love all the covers. I don't know. It's just something about them because they're like a nice mixture between like you know old school. You look into like new school transfer. I don't know. I don't know. It just it just calls out to me. So I got All Squadron number nineteen. Oh All Star Squadron number uh, eighteen. All Star Squadron number twenty two of June. And then All Star Squadron number twenty five. And then All Star Squadron number twenty seven with uh, Doctor Fate and Spectra. Um, I don't know. Doctor Fate's another guy. That guy's you know. Super strong. It's an amazing character, I guess. I don't know. He just didn't have too much pickup. But either way, cool guy. Go down into some Wolverines I found. I got Wolverine Origins. Uh, what number is this? 43. And yeah, he's fighting some samurai guy. Awesome book there. Wolverine Origins number 42. 
Wolverine Origins number 41. And Wolverine Origins number 49. All for a buck a piece. Can't complain. You know, super excited to find these. As you can tell from my voice. No, I'm just kidding. No, these are great comics. Uh, I'm glad to have them to the collection. Um, thank you guys for, you know, showing up and, you know, looking at the comics. I hope you all enjoy them. Um, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know. As always, back to Reality Comics. Have a good one. Take care.